everyone, Brock, Brock Black Designs. What I wanted to show you is how we make these tank shrouds, uh, fiberglass tank shrouds, step by step, what we do, what products we use, and follow along. And if you have any questions at the end, let us know. Okay, these are the products we're going to be using, a resin or fiberglass, of course, your PPE, different brushes you can use for your fiberglassing. Of course, you always got to clean your molds before you uh, want to do anything, which always sucks. This is the release that we use. Uh, it's a great release for this type of mold, and we're going to be spraying it on here momentarily, show you how thick we do it. Okay, we're going to be using a 1.0 nozzle on this. Uh, nice mist. We're going to do two different layers, let it dry in between uh, before you put on to the, the next coat. Now we're going to use our gel coat uh, and our spray gun for that. Uh, you can get these spray guns uh, that has a huge nozzle on it to get that gel out of there. You want to do two or three good layers of this to make sure you build up uh, a good shell uh, before you, you start fiberglassing. Let it dry after you're done uh, spraying it on there. Usually it's dry within an hour. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using this uh, marine grade uh, resin. And we're gonna, it's a two part that we're gonna have to mix. And then what we're gonna do is, because we have a high relief area, fiberglass is not gonna sit down in there very well. And so we're gonna use that uh, resin to sit down in there to give that definition for that design, which you can see. And then another uh, part that the um, fiberglass won't sit down in very well is down in this corner. And so we're gonna put a little bit of uh, resin down in here just um, just because the fiberglass doesn't lay down very well and we want a nice crisp corners. Uh, so when the customer decides to put them on the bike after they're painted or they, they're put on the tank, uh, you got a nice crisp uh, edge to line up with your side covers. So we're gonna do that now um, and wait for a moment. Okay, what you can see is for this project, I like to cut the uh, fiberglass into four different sizes because I want to be able to lay the uh, fiberglass quickly and evenly with no bubbles. And so this is the way I cut it up. Now you might do it a, a different way depending on the project, but here we go. What you're going to see is I'm going to be pouring the fiberglass hardener down onto the platform or the mold and then basically laying the fiberglass down and I'll be tapping the product into the fiberglass, making sure that there's no bubbles. If you see the white of the fiberglass, that means that you don't have enough of the hardener or uh, you need to add a little bit more material. And again, I just do a lot of tapping and getting that product down in there. We use about 10 ounces of the hardener for this uh, first layer. We do three different layers of the fiberglass to make it sure that there's a nice, nice thick shell of the uh, tank. Okay, so that took about 15 minutes. Um, as you see, we got the first layer on there, making sure the edges are down, no bubbles. Doesn't look very pretty, but when you demold this, all you're gonna see is that white uh, coating. And so the biggest thing is, is this is going to be on a, for a tank shroud. So we are going to make uh, three different layers on this. Uh, so it's still flexible, but strong enough to withhold any uh, issues when installing. And now we have to do three more layers. All right. So after th three layers of fiberglass and letting it dry, uh, basically, then you have to demold it, which is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Um, what I've found is when we, we build this from the uh, master design, we actually add extra. So the actual tank uh, shroud really only needs to go about here, but we add this little extra while doing it. And this lip is because so then you have a place to demold it. Um, I already have demolded this, started the next process, forgot that I was doing a video. So 
I apologize, not showing you the demolding, but basically what we do is we go uh, with some gloves, break uh, this edge away from the, uh, the mold. And then basically after that, you, you can demold it. Uh, and then what I do for the, uh, the customer or the, the shop that, we're, uh, that has ordered this, uh, we will leave the extra area for the, the shop or the customer to be able to cut out for the, the, uh, the fuel tank uh, cap. And, and basically what we'll do is, is, as you can see, start lining it out. We'll leave all that. When, when you get it, you'll, you'll want to make sure that you pre-fit this to your, uh, your tank and basically cut out where you need to. Uh, and then before we ship this, I'll show you that next part. After we sand it up, uh, if there's any uh, pits or anything that we will put a little bit of body filler in there so the customer has a nice uh, platform to, to start off of. But we're gonna cut this edge off now uh, so we get rid of that so it looks nice. Clean up the uh, any, any holes or anything like this right here. You know, we got a little bit of uh, uh, a mess there so we'll clean that up put a little bit of body filter sand it uh, anything in the, the emblem I started to do it now and you know with the Dremel or whatever clean that up clean this um, the demolder uh, film which is so much fun off of it then we will sand it with 320 prime it and then uh, we'll get it out to the customer. So we're gonna show you that here momentarily, what we do, and go from there. All right, everybody, this is finally the finished tank shrouds. As you can see, we have a nice big logo on there. Uh, they have been primed. And again, we've left a lot of room for whatever tank that the customer or the builder is going to be putting this on. We leave probably about this much uh, extra room after you cut out for the, uh, the fuel tank uh, opening. And then on the front, they'll probably notch this out uh, to go around the, the brackets for the, the tank that secures to the frame. And then use whatever uh, panel bond that you wanna use. I always uh, suggest is that you uh, install these or mop them up while you have it on the bike for the, the side covers because you wanna make sure this is sitting flat on those uh, side covers and uh, up against the tank so it has a nice, really clean fit. So again, if you have any questions, let us know and I appreciate your time.